Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Linux distros specifically made for gaming in 2024. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why not just stick with Windows? But trust me, there are some pretty cool Linux options out there that can give you a great gaming experience. Before we jump into the list, let's quickly talk about some popular Linux distros like Ubuntu, Fedora, Vanilla Arch Linux, and Linux Mint. These distros are fantastic for a variety of uses, including gaming. However, they don't come with pre-installed gaming applications like launchers, Wine, Proton, and other essential tools for a seamless gaming experience. So, while these distros can be great if you're willing to set them up yourself, today's focus is on distros that are tailor-made for gaming right out of the box. All right, let's get started. First up, we have Pop OS. This is a Linux distro based on Ubuntu, designed to be user-friendly, easy to install, and optimized for performance and productivity. The current release is 22.04 LTS. So, why should you choose Pop OS? Well, it has an application named Pop Shop that allows gamers to install Steam easily. Steam, as many of you know, is a popular game client that offers games natively compatible with Linux. Plus, it supports non-native games using a compatibility layer tool, Proton. Another cool feature is the Pop Shell, which enables the auto-tiling of Windows. This can help organize your work and gaming space efficiently. And, um, it has the same level of support and community as other popular distros like Ubuntu or Mint. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You might need to take additional steps to install and manage custom Proton versions like Proton GE, and it may not have the latest drivers and compatibility layers for some hardware and software components. Next, we have Nobara OS. This is a custom version of Fedora Linux, built by Glorious Eggroll, the man behind Proton GE. Nobara incorporates the best of what Fedora has to offer, compiled with bleeding-edge software for Gamescope and Mesa, among others. While Nobara is advertised as a Linux gaming distro, you can use it for your main desktop too. It offers a multitude of ways to customize your install, thanks to the built-in app installer available via both KDE Discover and Nobara's own software suite. Nobara is more like a traditional Linux distro and does not have atomic properties, making it quite suitable for desktops. It's a great choice for both newcomers and veterans alike, thanks to its ease of use, coupled with bleeding-edge hardware support. Now, let's talk about Garuda Linux. This distro is based on Arch Linux, which is a rolling release distro that always gets the latest software updates. Garuda Linux is free and open source, with the latest release being Bird of Prey, which features a fully integrated and polished Plasma 6.0 experience. Garuda offers a variety of desktop environments like KDE, Dr. 460Nized, Genome, Cinnamon, XFCE, and others. These are designed to be beautiful, fast, and user-friendly. It uses the Linux Zen kernel, optimized for desktop, multimedia, and gaming performance. Plus, it has a Garuda Gamer app to install gaming software like Steam, Lutris, Wine, ProtonG, and many others. However, since it is a rolling release distro, it might be unstable at times. It also uses the BTRFS file system with ZSTD compression and automatic snapshots, which may consume more disk space and CPU resources, and it might have less support and community than other, more popular distros. Bazite is another great option. Unlike Garuda, Bazite is based on Fedora instead of Arch Linux. It uses certain bleeding-edge components in its builds, much like Arch. Bazite is more akin to Chimera OS, built for HTPCs and handheld gaming devices in mind. The OS comes pre-configured with a SteamOS-like interface, on top of the very popular KDE GNOME desktops, allowing for both gaming and general usage like word processing. One downside, though, is that Bazite is an atomic distro and thus nukes most partitions during an update. Up next is Draugr OS. Based on Ubuntu and sporting the XFC desktop environment and Pipewire audio, Draugr OS has been designed with gaming performance in mind. Draugr OS is maintained by a small community but runs games effortlessly. This is achieved by making tweaks to the kernel, thereby improving on stock Ubuntu for the ultimate Linux-based gaming experience. The downside of this is that Draugr OS is less flexible than a standard Ubuntu installation. While basic productivity tasks should be achievable, some others will not be or will require longer installation and setup times. Before we wrap up, I have to give an honorable mention to SteamOS. Thanks to the Steam Deck, SteamOS has become the most widely used dedicated gaming operating system on Linux. Developed by Valve and based on Arch Linux, SteamOS is available in two versions, a dedicated SteamOS 3.0 build for Valve's Steam Deck portable gaming consoles and as Holo ISO, a PC version of the Steam Deck's operating system. Note that older versions of SteamOS for PC and laptop are based on Debian, 
but do not feature modern drivers, application layers, and other enhancements for running Windows games. Holo ESO is maintained by the Vakovsky Staken. No official PC build of Steam OS 3.0 is available. Steam OS prioritizes your PC or laptop's resources for the games you're playing, rather than background tasks that a typical desktop OS might favor. You can interact with Steam OS using most game controllers or a keyboard and mouse. So, if you're looking for a gaming-focused Linux experience, Steam OS is definitely worth checking out. And that wraps up our list of the best Linux distros for gaming in 2024. Remember, these distros come pre-configured with everything you need to get started with gaming on Linux. But if you're up for the challenge, you can always tweak other distros like Ubuntu or Fedora to suit your gaming needs. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future content. Let me know in the comments which Linux gaming distro you're most excited to try, or if you have any other recommendations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy gaming!